Is that, oh. Quiet. Go. Thank you, silence on normal set. One of the things that characterizes Chateau Huyuk houses, as we know from many examples, are the burials dug through the platforms and then covered over and uh, with a big um, lid and um, that's the way that they buried their dead. And in this house also we've started to come across such burials. The first one that we found was last year in um, this cut here, this was called feature 617 and um, that was taken out, it was a small boy, I think, or a small child, sorry, uh -huh. in a basket. Um, and this year, when we came back, we uh, almost immediately, as we started to scrape down to the upper part of the D level, um, we came across this wonderful grave with its lid, and um, it actually showed up very beautifully black, because it's dug through the black midden down here. It showed up black against the... Um, against the white of the platform. And I don't know whether that was intentional or not, but it was sure was impressive. So then Bashak and Laurie and Tonya excavated this um, skeleton down there, a robust male, I believe, right, of middle years, <laughs> in good health, so far as we can tell. Anyway, so um, he filled this grave with the skull at this end, We've got lots of video of that, so we won't bore you with that. But anyway, what we have to start looking for in these pits is that the burials, there's not just one burial under the platforms, but many. So we have to keep an eye out for burial pits dug into burial pits, dug into burial pits. And that looks as though that's what we have in both of these um, platforms. And the way we try to find those is by looking at the cuts themselves, I mean, at the yeah, the profiles of the cuts themselves. And we can see in this pit, uh, feature 617, for example, that there was a cut that went from there all the way around to here, a cut right the way through the floor levels from, the, um, from this C, big C uh, floor. Uh, one of them that we um, found in this cut was this funny kind of, um, ow, shit. <laughs> this funny small uh, straight-sided oval-ended or whatever um, pit. You can see its lid here. And so far, be, uh, Laurie has found only disarticulated small bone, bones of a small person. We don't know whether young or just small. But anyway, that's what we found. So we're assuming there's something deeper here. What she'll do is to excavate the whole, the, the whole thing. We just took down the bulk in order to expose the rest of the, of the grave. This is called feature 634. And then in this pit is yet another probable burial pit dug through perhaps even the earliest of the burial pits that was dug. And we can see it um, possibly its upper part in the collapse over here. I'm not quite sure whether that circular pit is perhaps another grave. Is that possible? Another grave that's dug through all of these other late, or rather, these other later graves were dug all the way through it. it look, if that is a gra uh, grave, that would probably be the earliest. And then this, perhaps the middle, and then the one we found last year would be the latest. Over here in this platform, we can see a similar kind of cut in the side of the, the grave pit, the burial pit, from here to here. And then on the surface, as we cleaned it today, we could see a kind of lid material that we're beginning to recognize now going in this sort of area like that. So this will be the next one that we excavate and we can see in fact it's um, in the yellow layer down there there's um, it's still going down black on that side. Um, whether we've got another one on this side I'm not sure yet but I wouldn't be surprised an early one. So other pos ow, other possible <laughs> burial pits are possibly a big series of cuts in the northern part of the floor, the central floor area here, especially, I, I think this is suspicious. This is a pit that's been covered with, um, or has a fill that includes 
a great deal of floor material, and that's the kind of thing that we're looking for in the upper part of the of the burial pits. Um, it's possible that this is also part of some kind of burial pit. So that again will be our next one. I think Laurie will go on to that. Um, over in this platform is a prime candidate for a wonderful big grave, big double grave. Everybody is skeptical except me. I know it's here, right where I'm standing. And I bet you at the end of this week, we shall find that this is a big double burial. But anyway, at the moment, they hid it so well that it's defying any kind of definition by us. Schluss. Thank you, Laurie. Down there, also. Need to be training it. Go. there is another possible grave in Space 158, although it's a bit difficult to, again, you know, really believe that this such a horrible-looking cut could actually house a burial under it. This is not so carefully hidden, so it's, it's really an obvious cut here, but still, that's the kind of thing they may have done in a hurry. You know, put the person in, dump the earth on top, Whereas over there, we've got very carefully finished burials all whited over, and so they're quite um, nice and sealed, I think the word would be. Nobody gets out. 